Okay. So, what, what's this place name? Walk-in Street. <laughs> you know, so I don't know if I can take on the steering and the pics today. No dice, we ain't getting nothing out here, man. Whoa, 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 I fully just walked between some cars. Whoa, like what? This place is so wild. There's a dude who was literally asking if our skin can rub off. Uh, I don't know how to <laughs> let it down to him that we are permanently like this. We have found an H&M in China. Didn't think I'd see one. There's nothing really special about H&M, yeah. but it's, it's Chinese. But You know what the thing is about H&M? Yes, it's what's the thing? Cheap, good quality. quality. Yeah. So you can get a lot for a little. Alright, so the thing about China right now is that we have had no success in doing any point of sale transactions. Nothing works. Although, I read online that in China they use six digit pins, while we in Jamaica we use four digit pins. So they say you should put two zeros in front of your pin and try it. But I haven't seen anything worth trying. So I'm really excited to share this. We are in front of a mosque. I've never been to or inside a mosque before. Super excited, super honored. I really love religious culture. Um, I'm just going to go in with my phone because I'm not sure, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know it to be appropriate to take pictures inside masks, so I'm just gonna go discreet. Have a look. I am so geeked right now. I'm such a huge fan of religious culture, especially Middle Eastern culture. And uh, yo, just Arabic architecture dog, just this mosque we're here, there's um a caretaker over there who's in charge of the mosque. They said this mosque only Muslims are allowed inside of the place of worship, which I'm familiar with, like I know that's the case. My Turkish friends are telling me that everybody can go in and I'm very honored to get an invite from them and they want me to come inside, you know, but you know, being in China one and also being black in China, um, I think it's very important that I think about the decisions that I make really carefully. My black friends have gone inside, but you know, 
there are some risks that I'm open to taking, but um, risks, especially when it comes to um, sacrilege, um, culture and laws, I'm not really that free in opening, you know? My Turkish friends are saying um, the mosque is for everybody and I understand what they're, where they're coming from, but um, out of just respect for what the caretaker has said about this location, I'll stay outside. I really want to go inside, trust me. Like, I really, really do. They want to, like, um, recite some of the Quran for me, but, you know, I'll just enjoy it from outside. Just for my friends from the group as you can see over there from Jordan Palestine and um, and Turkey they um, are kind of angry with the caretaker <laughs> that um they're not allowing people inside so they're having like a discussion over there bittersweet bittersweet it's very interesting to see this discourse firsthand at the same time it's a bit awkward to see um a religious disagreement It's for bed. You should try. Chinese massage. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Chinese massage, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, massage. Like massage. Massage. Yeah. Massage. 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 Are all playing music together, singing songs in front of a Chinese saloon in Yingchuan, China. It doesn't get much more cultural than this. Does this seem a little familiar to you? Probably because it is. Back in Beijing, left in Chia, we're here. Last three days here in China now. And it's like nine in the morning, I think. And you know what I'm gonna do? Wash clothes. <laughs> <laughs> 